Hi there, today I wanted to share with you this really cute note card that I made. Okay, so to start, I am using one of the Love Notes cards and envelopes. And I like this because it's just a uh, little note cards that come in a pack. And um, they also come with the envelopes to stick them in. So I'm going to be using the new Friends Forever stamp set. And I've been dying to use this ever since I've seen it in the catalog. I just think it's really adorable. So I'm going to take the dog... And using my basic black ink, I'm going to stamp him on there. And then um, I'm going to watercolor him. And I, I know you've seen me do this before, so I thought I would just lightly touch on it again. I just push down and push some of the ink up onto the lid. And I'll get a little bit on the lid like that. And then taking my water pen, I just drop some water in there and then pick up some of the color. And you really don't need a whole lot, you just need a little bit. And then I'm just going to take that around the dog and color him in. And just kind of shade him. And where you want more color, you just pick up a little bit more ink. So you can make it darker if you want it. It's just a neat way to add some color to your to your picture without having to color the whole image if you didn't want to. So it just gives them like a little bit of shading. And I can, you know, again, pull that color through and make it lighter if I wanted. And darken it in areas by just, you know, again, picking up some of the ink without all the water and making it darker in areas. So see how cute that's already starting to come out. It kind of gives it a little shading effect. Like so. Okay, and then using the same stamp set, I'm going to go ahead and um, stamp up his bowl. Mm, I have that on there a little bit crooked. Let me reline that one up. And push that on there. And then... This is my black. I'm going to ink him. Ink the bowl. And then I also want to use the, the second dog from the stamp set. And again, I like to use something that has an edge so when I line them up I can make sure that my dogs are, my stamp is, is straight so when I go to put it on my block it's a little bit easier to make sure I've got a, a better image. And then I'm going to push him on there like so. And then I'm just going to add the bone into here. And this is what I really, really like about using the clear blocks. You can see where you're stamping. So it makes it a lot easier whenever you're doing something to make sure that um, you can get it where you want it. Okay, and then I wanted to make it look like they're kind of sitting in, in the grass area. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take a corner of my stamp pad with my water brush and just grab some of this ink and then I'm just going to go underneath the dogs and kind of brush the color to make it look like they're in the grass. Again, just picking up some of my color and I'm going to kind of go in front and behind and I just, you know, I'm kind of just adding this to make it look like they're in a grassy area. And I, I really like this technique with the with kind of water coloring because you can kind of control the amount of color that you add on it. And, and you see how simple that was? And what a cute effect that you get. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the little saying that says friends forever and I'm going to stamp that up here in the corner like so. And that's my card for today. Thanks for joining me. Bye.